Monaghan are back to their best. They beat Armagh even when luck wasn't on their side, like when Ellen McCarran's shot came off both posts and came out. They were already four points up and on top, but that's when Armagh, the reigning Ulster champions who shocked Monaghan in the final last year in Clonus, showed their quality. A swift counter-attack ending with Aoife McCoy getting in for a goal. All-star goalkeeper Linda Martin came off her line but was just unable to stop the shot and all of a sudden there was only one point in it, seven points to 1-3. But every time Armagh scored, Monaghan responded. This flowing move involving Kiva Mohan deserving a score, but Katrina McConnell saw her effort go the wrong side of the post. There was no sign of panic on the sideline as we went to the break with all to play for. Into the second half, Armagh's big threat Amy Mackin finally got free and went for goal, but Linda Martin did well to block the shot. It just didn't seem to be Armagh's day, but they kept battling, and when Macken got another opportunity, she didn't waste it, switching onto her right foot this time to shoot to the top corner of the net, and we were back to a three-point game. But from there, it was all Monaghan. They were clearly intent on avenging last year's defeat, and when Kiva Mohan set up Ellen McCarran for the first of two late goals, it was game over. The Farney girls, who won four Ulsters in a row before last year, are back in the 2015 final against Donegal. Their big support in Kingspan Breffney delighted with the impressive win and to see Monaghan back to the Monaghan of a few years ago. They looked fit, sharp and determined. The second late goal was again set up by Mohan and finished this time by Cora Courtney, the double All-Star racing through and picking her spot. That completed a 12-point victory and ensured that Courtney's team will go in as strong favourites to the Ulster final. Final score, Monaghan 2-19, Armagh 2-7. Sharon Courtney, Monaghan captain. You must still be buzzing after beating Armagh in Ulster yesterday. Yeah, we had a great win, so um, we're delighted with it. Um, we knew it was going to be tough against Armagh, but we also knew we had a good performance in us, and that's exactly what we got. So um, it's great now, and um, coming up here today, and then first person seen was Caroline O'Hanlon. But um, no, it was great to get the win yesterday, and uh, hopefully we'll push on now for the rest of the year. We have to give a lot of credit to Monaghan. You know, they were very up for the game. Um, they'd obviously done a lot of homework on us from last year, um, and you know they were flying. They hit the ground running. Um, and we were flat on the day and um, we were very disappointed with our performance and we feel that we weren't that far, or wouldn't or shouldn't be that far off Monaghan and um, but I mean ultimately the result you know reflected their performance yesterday and I think it was fair so we'll have to go back to the drawing board but thankfully we've a bit of time.